morning guys happy happy monday oh october 1st new week new month a little exciting um this is one of my favorite times of the year is the holiday times so starting october 1st is where excited tanya happens all the time because halloween's coming all the holidays just one right after the other i love the holiday time um i wished i lived in a state where I could see the fall and the leaves start to change and it gets cool and I could wear my big comfy sweaters that I like with my boots and but I live in Florida so maybe I'll get one day that I could wear my boots that's why I keep my house super cold good morning mom good morning Desiree I keep the house super cold so I can wear my big sweaters and stuff like that after my workout and my shower crank that AC down and just pretend that I'm in a different state. Good morning, Mandy. Um, so today I had a topic. So I've been doing my reading every morning um, in the UVerse Bible app. Um, and I really like it because some of those apps can be like super Bible-ish, if you know what I mean. And I can't read things that are written that way. It's difficult for me. So I like this because it writes it normal. And then if you read the Bible verse after, so it makes it easier for me to comprehend what it's trying to tell me. Um, so I was reading today, and today is about like happiness and finding your happiness and things like that. And the, one of the topics was about um, that people can't suck your joy and they can't take your joy unless you give them permission. And I know that we've talked about that before, um, but it's so important. I felt like we needed to talk about it again because you can't control how other people act, but you can control how you react to other people. So if someone is treating you like shit or not being there for you or not being a true friend or whatever it may be that they're doing, um, if they're doing that to you and you're getting pissed off, aggravated, hurt, sad, it's putting you into depression, whatever that all, whatever your reaction is, that's what you can control. So if you're having the reaction of negativity or anger or sadness, hey Valerie, Deborah, Louisa, hi guys. Um, if you're having those reactions, I mean, trust me, I've been there. You know, I've had friends that I would give the shirt off my back and then all of a sudden they just disappear out of life and they're nowhere to be found and it puts me into sadness and um, I try not to allow it, but it, nothing I could do about it. It is what it is, right? So the only thing we could do is remind ourselves that we are in control of our actions. We can't control what they do. We can't control how they act. You can't force people to be in your life. But you can control how you react to the situation, what it makes you do, uh, and what permission you give others. Uh, so that was one of the readings that I did today. I'm really loving this app because I'm reading with some girlfriends and then we all chat about it afterwards. And we all give our takeaway and, and what we read about it and, and how it affected us or what it made us think about. Um, and I love that because I get their perspective and my perspective, <coughs> excuse me. So I wanted to reiterate because just reading that again today totally reiterated for me um, about my my perception and my what I give and what I allow um, and the permissions that I give to other people. And I'm not going to allow, I don't wanna give permissions. I don't want people to be able to make me sad. I'm the only one that allows that. So if I'm getting sad because, or mad, or frustrated, or stressed, pissed off, whatever it is, because of what somebody else did, the only piece, piece in, I could speak, the only person I could really be mad at is myself for allowing it. You know? I'm not saying you can't have feelings, you know, but don't let those feelings drag out. Feel it, get over it, and don't allow it anymore. Um, we're human. It's going to happen. You're going to get sad from something. You're going to get stressed. You're going to get upset. You're going to get pissed off and want to talk about it to somebody. But talk about it and move on. Don't talk about it and then talk about it and then talk about it and then a month later talk about it and talk about it. 
you can see where I'm going with that. Don't continue talking about it. Just talk about it once, get it off your chest, and then that's it. Hey, Carol. Because we are the ones that are in control of us. They're in control of themselves. So let them be the one to have that guilty conscience. It may never happen. It may never happen. They might just sleep well every day knowing that they're an asshole. It is what it is. So you can only control you. I can only control me. So, I mean... The people that you want in your life are the ones that if something does happen, you can go to them, you could talk to them, have a brief conversation, and that's it. Maybe you find a solution and that's it. You know, so if, if it's the first time that something has happened that someone's done something to upset you, that doesn't mean I'm watching two birds like fight over there. Maybe they're not fighting, maybe they're doing something else. It, <laughs> who knows? They're just flying around with each other. Um... It is. It's so hard. It's so, so hard. Um, so, you know, like if it happens one time and you talk to the person, you tell them, you know, it really, really affects my feelings and it really makes me feel X, Y, Z when you do this. If there's someone that truly loves you, whether it's a friend love, a relationship love, whatever it is, they're not going to want you to feel that way. So they're, they're not going to want to do that again to make you feel that way. At least if somebody came to me and said, you did X, Y, Z, and it really broke my heart, or it made me feel like this, I would be very mindful to not do that again if I really love that person. Um, so that's something you have to keep in mind. Like, you can say something to them, good morning, hey, Becky. You can say something to them, and you can, you know, voice your opinion. But remember, once you voice your opinion, you need to just let it go. Because now you are in control of your emotions and how you feel. And if you continue with it and you're just upset with it and you just keep going, that's on you. And then if they do it to you again, well then they've shown you what your friendship means to them. So it is on you to make decisions on how to move forward. But don't move forward with sadness. Don't move forward with aggravation. Because then the only person you could be aggravated, sad, and mad at is yourself because you are giving them permission to hurt you in that way. So that is my Monday motivation for you guys. My call to action today is to make sure you only give permission to yourself. Do not give permission to others to hurt you, make you sad, or make you stressed. And if you are feeling those emotions because of what somebody else does, you need to turn that around and be upset with yourself because you're giving permission. If you don't want that permission out there, you have to stop giving it. So have a wonderful, wonderful Monday, a wonderful first day of October and holiday season, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.